So how many of you grew up with shame around being naked? I know I did. So part of my healing journey this year is I've been invited to spend time with myself, time naked and um, getting to know every, every part of my, my body, my sacred temple and, um, and really getting comfortable in allowing my body to be, to be free. And um, it's been incredible, an incredible journey and I've really enjoyed it. And to think back to me like two years ago and think about me like um, spending full days naked without a partner, just exploring myself and just really being um, just soft and sacred and loving towards every part of ourselves. It's so incredibly necessary. It's so incredibly needed. And so this last year, you know, I have... I've just really enjoyed these um, these days with myself and um, just really spending this this sensual sacred time with myself. And what I'm noticing is it's a little difficult to do that when you live with people. <laughs> um, and so I was just thinking about how I'm I'm starting to miss those days and how I'm gonna have to um find a way to still have that that sacred time with myself and so i invite you all to really you know look at how do you feel about being naked how do you feel about looking at your naked body in the mirror or loving yourself does that feel taboo and if it like feels it. taboo and like you shouldn't be looking at your naked body or touching your naked body then what is that what does that tell you when you're you're going to be intimate with a partner? Like, do you still do you have that level of shame of like it's bad and wrong and you need to turn off the lights and um, be quiet and and you know like you don't want to be seen? Like that's um that's a very tense, um, shameful energy that I really feel like our <sighs> I really feel like our our being is desiring to birth out of this and as i'm saying that i'm tapping into venus and we are going through this this um transition in the venusian energies and we are going to see um like a death and a rebirth process before the end of the year of venus and so that is that's re-identifying everything that we think about love and the way we love ourselves and others the way we we show love to others and it really it really starts by loving ourselves it really starts by um you know when you honor and love yourself and you you see your body as your sacred temple and you are um you honor your your spiritual devotion there's, there's, I, I try to live what I, what I teach and what I preach. And, um, and so that looks like me being able to witness and observe myself and honor myself in all of my many facets. And it's truly when you can get to that space where you it's truly have that when we get to that, that deep love and reverence for ourselves that we can allow that kind of love in from a partner because when we don't love ourselves and we don't even know how i've had many relationships that uh, with people that loved me more than i knew how to love myself and it was in um experiencing their love and devotion for me that helped me see through a different lens but it definitely didn't heal it it definitely didn't um, make me love myself. I needed this time period of really rediscovering who I am and getting to know who I am and loving myself and being somebody that I would look up to. Being somebody that I um, would feel an honor that to I be would feel with. Honored to be with. Like I would be honored to be with myself if, if I was my own partner. Um, like if I was to split into two. 
Um, and I really feel like we have to come, and it's not a level of narcissism, um, because narcissism comes from not being confident, not being um, self-aware. It comes from a false level of self-confidence. And so, um, yeah, and being overly identified in the things that you do or the things that you have or the way that you look. So um, I just invite you all to, to feel into this. And are you the type of person that you would be honored to be with? If not, what are some things in your life that you need to change? And are you looking for a partner to bring you something that about you it is yeah. when we get with a partner that loves us more than we know how to love ourselves even though it's like a shallow level of love because we're never able to fully receive it because we don't truly believe it and so it's it's just this and it you can get excited about it it doesn't need to be like oh no i need to love myself and it's like some drag no it's actually like i I've honored this time period um, of being alone and really exploring myself because now there's no part of me that I'm ashamed of. There's nothing that I'm trying to hide. And there's, um, there's this knowledge of being able to receive a partner and not feel unworthy or insecure. It's like I know who I am and I love every aspect of who I am. At least the the true self, the I am presence. I love, I love my Christ self. Of course, I still get triggered. I'm taking a dance class right now that um, to teach Shakti warrior goddess um, dance classes for healing. And it's brought up all of those wounds of like, um, just I really got triggered yesterday because she was talking so much. And when I really tuned in and tracked you know what why that was that was so like it was like a level 10 of like I can't handle this and it was because of all the words she was saying she was like you know like yoni power and da 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 and I was just like ah like we're not allowed to talk like this and so it just brought up all these things and that got me like really thinking about um how it's okay to embrace it and not have shame and yeah, like I have, I have a womb and it's fucking powerful and it's beautiful and it births new worlds of creation and I honor my sacred temple and um, I, I forgive myself for all the years when I didn't know how to honor her and um, I invite you all to do the same and understand that when you honor yourself in that sacred way, there's no other vibrational possibility other than you attracting somebody that's going to honor you too. But when we sacrifice ourselves and we don't love ourselves, we attract in partners that are going to do the same thing. So just really look at that. And so where are you? And there's no need to shame yourself. But if you're not at a level of self-love, I wouldn't invite you. I would fast as I did for seven years. Um, until you're to a new level of consciousness and a new level of love for yourself. And if you guys want to work one-on-one -on -one with me and I will teach you how to love yourself in the way in which I do, you can find me at KendraDivinePurposeMentor.com. I love you all so very much.